Hey guys, how are we doing today? Hey guys. So today we are making some holiday treats. Yeah. It ain't the holidays if we ain't eating treats, right? Obviously. At least a five pound gain at least every holiday season. <laughs> <laughs> and I like baking for our neighbors. So we bake for ourselves, our neighbors, and our families yeah. every year. Kelsey loves baking. I it's, do. She's not the greatest cook in the world, let me tell no, you. No, no, no. <laughs> but she makes them um, a hell of good treats. So. I'm good at that. Well, I think I'm good at that. Yeah, we're something. It's something. <laughs> I'll take but, it. But, <laughs> yes, we're going to be baking some treats today. We're making three different kinds. Yes. What are we making? We're going to make a peanut butter cup cookie. We are going to make a snowman Oreo um, cheesecake. Well, it's like a cream cheese ball. They're very good. And then the third and final one, uh, which are my favorite, are the gingerbread bars. Ooh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, so we have everything laid out for our three treats that we're going to bake today. We have everything right here for our gingerbread bars. Obviously, a lot of spices go into that one. They're super yummy. And then we have all things peanut butter and chocolate over here for our peanut butter cup cookies. And then Oreos, all the Oreos and cream cheese for our Oreo cream cheese snowmen. So we baked all three of these treats last year and we love them so we didn't change anything this year. And I have them all in my recipe book. That way I don't forget. Um, what goes into them and how to bake them. We'll put the recipes in the description too. Yes. Any of you guys want to make these. They're really fun. And then we obviously have our beautiful KitchenAid mixer. Thank you, Maxine and Michelle, for this as a wedding gift. Shout out to mom and grandma. <laughs> Best wedding gift ever. We love it. And we use it every time we bake. And then obviously this beautiful pan is going to be for our gingerbread bars. And this was given to me in college by my roommate Shane, and we still love and use it all the time. So we're gonna get started with the bars, and then we'll do Oreo balls, and then we'll transition over to cookies. So let's get it done. We're gonna try to get it all done today. We might have to do some tomorrow. Yes. So we might have a clothing change sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, right there we have mixed together some brown sugar and butter. The reason we didn't film it is because the butter and brown sugar are just a little bit hard. Just a little bit. So we got it all together now. It is looking nice and smooth. And we're gonna keep adding stuff. What are we added next, Kels? We are putting a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon. And ground cinnamon, actually. Christmas bars. Mm. Rick really liked these last year. I was actually these were a fire last surprised. year. Surprised. Super good. Pleasantly surprised. He doesn't always um, like things that are super gingerbready, or even just like gingerbread men in general. I feel like mm -hmm. those aren't your thing, but yeah. these are pretty good because they're soft. Very soft. I'm okay. Stoked. Now we need. We need half a teaspoon of ginger. Ginger, ginger. I have one of those. I have a ginger. That's me. He's right there. Oh no. When you get too much, you just gotta dump it out. Right in. And our oven was preheating to 350 and it just finished. So that's plus. Now we have those two, and we have cloves and nutmeg left. A fourth teaspoon of each of those. Kelsey, what did you just add there? Salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And now we are gonna mix it all together. <laughs> Mix it all up, boobies. Since a lot of this is stuck on the sides, I'm gonna lift it and scrape those down so that way we can get it all mixing. There we go. Nice. Alrighty guys, while Kelsey keeps adding stuff to these Christmas bars, 
what is your guys's favorite Christmas treats? That's what mm -hmm. I want to know. Good question. I have, I feel like every person you know makes something that you absolutely love. For me, I love my mom's either her Toll House cookies or her molasses cookies. Mmm, they're so good. Those For molasses cookies are Kelsey's amazing. mom's sugar cookies are the best ever. We might have to make a video on those because those are super fun to make. Yes. And then, out of the ones that we're making today, the Oreos, they're super good. So, the Oreo snowman, super good. And they're really simple to make. Yes, very simple to make. So guys, what is your favorite? Let us know down in the comments. All right, where are we at in the process right now, Kals? Okay, so we just added the dry ingredients. So we have flour and baking soda. Obviously it looks very dry. Um, that's how these bars are meant to look. And then we add this molasses and that's our final ingredient before we add it into the pan. Like I said, this um, kind of the mixture looks pretty dry and it looks like it's not gonna be like very moist of bars, but the molasses does wonders in the oven. So they'll be pretty dang good. I'm pumped. Kelsey, you're supposed to look like this. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I just said the ingredients make it look dry. It's always good though, I promise. We'll see. So how do you know when they're done, Kels? How do I know when they're, I'm done patting it down? Yes. When I feel like it's even. So really just up to the person. Sometimes they're gonna have a slope regardless, so you just do the best you can, but try to get the sides to be even with everything so they don't bake faster than the rest of the, the pan. All right, they're going in the oven. And we will start a timer for, let's double check, 20 minutes. I think. Yes, 20 minutes. I can't do it. Twenty minutes. Hey mom, what's doing? What are we doing next? What are we doing next? What are we making next? Which one's next? We're doing the Oreo balls next. Woo! Oreo balls, yeah. Rick's favorite. They're the most work. All right, what's the first thing we're doing this time, Kels? Okay, for the snowman Oreo balls, we need Oreo cookies. Oreo cookies. And we need thirty-six of them. Um, crushed up. So what I like to do when I crush cookies, obviously Rick and I got a little excited and ate some uh, for breakfast. It's fine. <laughs> Whatever. You had some too. So I count out 36 and I put them into a bag. Two, four, six, six. As you can see, I don't know how many Oreos come in a family size thing because I bought two of them. So I guess I get more Oreos to eat. Yeah. We might make them again this holiday season, you never know. So we have our marble um, rolling pin that we got from our wedding registry. And then I just crush them up. Start with beating them and then I'll roll over them. Let some air out of the bag and then we can roll. They look pretty good. All right, so now these bag of Oreos goes into the mixer. Obviously you have some stuff stuck on there, but that's the reason why we add cream cheese to give it even more flavor. So we get one eight ounce bag of cream cheese and throw it in there. I need scissors for this bad boy, I think. 
bad boy, bad boy, bad boy. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. Oh my god. Dawn Chase in a nutshell. Okay. Got this open. Yes, yes, yes. Probably should rip it this way. There we go. Now we're cooking. Yeah, good looking. Yeah. All right, so we got the cream cheese out. Got our clean utensils and we are ready to mix this stuff together. Gotta be careful, we don't want anything flying. Yeah, I'm gonna stand back a little here. Mix it again. Probably do this a few times. It's gonna get stuck a lot. Are they done? They smell so good. We'll have to see if they're done. Mm. We'll have to poke it with a fork. Fork, fork, fork. Actually, let's use a knife so it's not as big of a hole. Good thing about these, mm, that looks done to me. That looks done to me. Palm out, palm out, palm out, palm out. The good thing about these is we also add frosting on them, so even if, hang on, I need another one. Another one! Gotta use the Christmas ones. Yes, this one's new from our neighbors. Okay, so the good thing about these bad boys is that we add frosting on top, so because they look a little crumbly and all that, it's all hidden by the frosting, which is great. So that will be our next step in these. And then we eat them. Yeah. Okay. Also, the Oreos things are done. Don't they look good? Look at that texture. Now, guys, we are going to be rolling the balls. Yep. As you can see, there's already one done. We had to test to, to make sure the texture was good. So what you do is you grab about an inch you're gonna make a ball about an inch. So you grab just a little bit of dough and it's gonna stick a little bit, but that's a good sign. And then you roll it into a perfect circle because these are gonna be snowman heads. So you want them to be pretty proportional. So that's something we have to be cautious of. It says it makes- 40... Is that too big? Um, It's a little big, but we can, we can have some big heads and some little heads. All heads are? Equally equal as beautiful, but yes, it says it'll make 42 um, snowmen, but depending on the size ball you roll depends on how many snowmen you get. Um, I remember last year, a lot of ours were pretty big, so we only got like 38 or something, but that's all right. They'll be cute. Yep. Let's get these rolled. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Freezer. We gotta make room. Bam, ba, da, da. One plate in the freezer. And Toby, you gotta move for the second plate in the freezer. Done. All right, all right, all right. What are we doing next? Peanut butter cup cookies. Yeah. If you haven't watched these vlogs before, we have addiction to peanut butter and Reese's peanut butter cups. So yes. of course we're making them into a cookie. Holiday season brings out the best. Let's do it. Mm. <laughs> that was unnecessary. One and one quarter cup flour. Now what? Now we need baking soda. And we need half. A teaspoon of baking Does soda. Does anyone else feel really weird about baking soda? Like, you put it in your fridge to keep your fridge clean, but then you also cook with it. I just feel like it's... There's got, a lot like of Like, it's a multi-use thing, but, like, feels weird. I don't know. No, I agree. It's, it's definitely strange. Okay, and then we need salt again. 
Salt, salt, salt. salt Everything's be better salt, with salt. salt. Salt, salt. I never measure my salt. I just guesstimate. So what are we guesstimating? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen equals a quarter of a teaspoon in my mind. I wonder our shit's so salty. <laughs> Whatever. And now we're gonna mix this together. Whoopsies. Gotta dry this. And we'll toss it together lightly. Done. You're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have to add the wet ingredient. What did we add? We added brown sugar, granulated sugar, and butter, and we are gonna mix it all together. Watch out, things might fly. Look at that butter spin. If I spin it faster, it might play off. Nice. Faster, faster. I can't imagine what it's like to bake like somewhere where it's actually cold. It's like nice outside right now and our butter still hasn't thawed out. It's been out for like three hours, so. I think we need a little more though. Cause we like peanut butter. Never too much peanut butter. Never. And they say to put it on when it's mixing, but I can't do that because we don't have enough space. So I'm just gonna do this really quick and then we'll keep mixing it. There we go. I see boy. Look at him. Let him like the peanut butter. One egg. Kind of crazy. This is our third thing we've made and that's the first egg we've used. Yep. And then two of these. What's that? Vanilla extract, and we have one teaspoon, so I decided to use the half since it's already dirty. Fun fact, vanilla ex extract is absolutely incredibly expensive, if you didn't know. It's stupid. It's yummy, though. And it smells bomb. It does. Okay, so now we are going to do the icing for our um, gingerbread bars. So we need convection sugar, aka powder sugar, if you're not familiar. And then we need some water to make this. Um, it'll just drizzle right on the top and it adds a little bit of extra flavor. I love it. Ready. What kind of consistency are we working with? Okay, so I added a little extra water to make it a little more runny. That way the drizzle will actually look good. Last year when I did this, it was too thick to be able to drizzle. So what I'm gonna do is start off with just a little, let a lot of it run off and then start it going. So that way, it doesn't end up in a huge blob. So just do a little bit at a time. That way it looks better. And I don't have to use it all either. That's the important part. Is that whatever you think looks good or you think's enough, it's probably enough. Yeah. I think we're good. I think so too. It looks good. Yummy. Okay, the last thing before we close out for tonight so everything else can sit and we'll finish the rest of the baking tomorrow is we have to dip these in white chocolate. So I'm gonna microwave this chocolate for 60 seconds and then we have to work really, really fast to dip each and every one of the balls. So we just have to move pretty quick. So Rick's gonna set the camera up and we're gonna get going. All right. Technique is ball in, scoop, and heap white chocolate over the top. We'll see. You get to be the first one to watch Rick do this for the first time, and I'm pumped. It's going to be classic. So you toss one in, heap, heap, pick it up, shake the excess off, and then you place it on the plate. Got to get grooving. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. That's not roasting.
Like frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering a sample phrase Although it's been said many times, many ways All right, you guys. We just finished putting all the snow on the snowman. Yeah. They got to cool down in the fridge overnight along with the peanut butter. Alrighty guys, day two of baking. We're back at it. Yeah, so we went, we let everything just kind of chill overnight in the yes. fridge. And now we're ready to hit part two of the baking. Let's get it. Look how chilled that dough is. I broke it up. I kind of like crumbled it a little bit so I could feel the texture. It looks really good. And then I also pulled these out of, oopsies, pulled these out of the fridge and um, they look really good. So I peeled them off each plate. That way they're on a clean surface and the oven's preheating and it is done. Obviously some of these are rougher than the rest, but the good thing is, is they're gonna get Oreo hats and cute little faces and we'll use the extra chocolate for that. Okay, but before we get started on these cute snowmen, we are going to do some peanut butter cup cookies. So you put a little ball of the dough in your hand and you put a peanut butter cup in the middle and then you add addition, the countertop's clean, I just cleaned it, additional small amount of dough on top and then you form it around into a ball. Rick's favorite. AKA heaven. <laughs> Rick's favorite. He waves Merry Christmas to you. That's not all right, these are going in the oven for how long? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Do we do bottom or bottom? Right. There we go. Timer. 10 minutes. Oh. Take them out, bud. Come here, bubbas. I just hit this one on accident, so we have a man down, but I hit that one on accident. Uh oh. They look good. Nice and circular. They'll fall a little bit more as they go, but they look good. I can't believe I messed that one up. Nice and circular. Toby, stop whining, bud. Sweet boys want cookies. Of course he does. Look at some of these. I Ricks, 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 Ricks. Haters gonna hate, you know. Classic. Haters gonna hate. I'm gonna warm Mine this up. Mine are gonna turn out amazing. Trust, trust. I'm gonna warm this up and then we're gonna get started. We're gonna warm this up and then we're gonna go bring it over to the table and we're gonna make them look like snowman. Snowman, snowman, snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? snowman? Okay, so we have the melted um, vanilla and we're gonna put a little bit on the top and we're gonna add one mini Oreo as a hat. I like to put them on the side. It makes it look cute. Uh oh, we got some eyeballs that got attached. But I always try to determine what side I want to be the front and then go from there. So I decided this side looks the best. This one's a little bit rough. So I'm gonna add eyes here. Usually we have toothpicks and stuff, but we didn't have any today. So we're gonna have to just add two small dots for eyes and a small dot for a nose. And I'll use my fingers to pick up, don't judge me, <laughs> pick up each eyeball. Place it so gently, and same with the nose. Oopsies, I dropped it. 
And then we're trying to decide if we should add a mouth or not, but that's the starting point. And then it should dry relatively nicely. There it is. Should I add a mouth? What do you think? We'll add it and then we'll decide. Yeah, I think it's a good... <clears throat> just the white? Just what do you think it. about just the white? Just the white mouth. Or do you think we add red? Mm, I think we gotta do both. Didn't you have like a, that, you had like a frosting last year for the mouth, didn't you? Yep, and we don't have it anymore. I like the mouth. Yeah? Is he cute? He is cute. There he is, there's one. Like frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering the sample frame. Okay. So I have the peanut butter dough, like the peanut butter cookies done, and we're gonna add a drizzle and just a little bit of a finishing touch. So here I'm going to start drizzling over these cookies. I'm not super great at drizzling, so don't judge me. It takes me a while to get the technique down. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. Voila, they are done. Let's show you guys the snowman now. Okay, so we have all three of our final products. We have our snowman, we have our peanut butter cup cookies, and we have our gingerbread bars. So now I'm gonna cut into our gingerbread bars, and I'm gonna set a few of those on the plate with a few of our cookies and our snowmen so you can see all of them put together. And then I'm gonna eat them. Oh goodness. Woo! Alrighty guys, so we just did the taste test. We did. And we had to do it off because somebody. Mr. Toby. Has been crazy today. <laughs> and He just wants to be a part of the baking. Yeah, so I didn't want to put you guys through the pain of hearing him bark and whine the entire time. There's some days where he's just amazing and there's other days that he's not so amazing. He just wants to talk, it's so, understandable. Mm -hmm. But the Oreo snowmen were amazing. Always super good. Kelsey, but the one thing I think is the challenging part is that putting on those faces. Last year, Kelsey did it with like a gel frosting yes. kind of thing and it was way better. It was. This way year we easier. Tried, yeah. This year we tried sprinkles and it worked okay. And I think like next time we do it, I might just put like do the white balls and do no faces at all. So they're not like snowmen. They're just... Yeah like Oreo snowballs, and then maybe like put some some sprinkles on top or something. Yeah, then the ginger bars were perfect. They're just like they were last year. I love those. Yeah, the gingerbread bars the were great. They're super amazing. moist. Oh. Obviously, if you get one more towards the center, it's gonna be better than ones on the outside, but still and amazing. Pan, yeah. And then the, Re the Reese's peanut butter cookies, they were good, but were okay. there was something we didn't I do right. Know. I think we forgot to cover the dough overnight in the fridge and I think that might have been it. I think it dried it out. It dried it out way too bad. But, so that's, my opinion is I will not give those out, I don't think. I yeah. think I need to remake them before I can hand them out to other people. Yeah, so. But other than that, I think it turned out pretty good. Pretty good. And if you like this kind of video, guys. Let us know. Make sure to let us know down in the comments. Let yes. us know what your favorite treats to make are during the holidays. holidays. And then, yeah, I think we are all good to go. Um, and Toby's gonna open the door for you guys to see yeah. our beautiful laundry room. He's going to take you guys out. Have a good one. Bye.